All right, now it's time to make the create laser function. So I'm just going to do it right here, right after this function, just to make things nice and easy. So in between the two functions, I'm going to say function create capital L laser. Why? Because create laser here has capital L, no spaces. All right, open and close parentheses, open curly brace, close that curly brace. All right, so the first thing we do is we say when he presses that arrow, we're going to attach the movie from the library. All right, and that's the attach movie method, right? It's movie clip uh, class, right? It's built into ActionScript, and it's a capital M. should see it turn blue. Attach movie, and then we have to tell it which movie clip in our library? Well, we happen to have one with linkage set to laser. Then we have to give it a new name, which will also set to laser. But we're going to give it a, um, we have to give it a unique name. And since there's going to be more than one laser, we need to also, uh, we have to essentially set up some type of increment so that we'll have laser one, laser two, and each laser will be a new name. So we say laser, right, the string laser, because it's in between quotation marks, plus laser count. And we'll make that all capitals because it's going to be a variable. Laser count, all right, plus laser count. Now, I don't have a variable yet for laser count, but we're going to need one because we're going to want to increment it, right? And then we need to set up our depth level. So what stacking order will this graphic be on? Every item in Flash has to have a unique depth level. So we'll say, we'll start the depth level at 1,000 plus laser count, all right? Then we can also set the X and the Y property right here. So I'll put another comma, open curly brace, close curly brace, and we'll set the X and the Y value right here. So we'll say underscore x colon, right, equals, right, basically x will be the hero dot underscore x, right, so right where the hero is, that's where we want to attach the laser. And then we'll say um, comma underscore y property colon hero dot underscore y. And that should attach the laser right to wherever the hero is, right? So we've set up this, which will attach the, um, for the library, the linkage, the new name, the depth level, and the location on the stage. The last thing we just need is to test it out. So we hit control enter, and we press the up arrow, which will be E on the keyboard, and we need to see if the laser gets attached. And I'm not sure if it did. Let's see here. Right. Also, what I might need to do is disable the keyboard. Let's see here. Control, disable keyboard shortcuts. Character moves around. Press E, and it should attach from the library, but it hasn't. So we'll figure out why that is. Okay, I figured out the answer, and it was a pain. Why it wasn't working? Well, troubleshooting techniques. What I decided to do was I decided to go into where if key is down 68 and shot timer create the laser and the shot timer well why isn't it working well I put in a trace statement saying trace it works so if this fires if this condition fires and key is down 68 and shot timer is less than zero we should get some output to the window it works we should also get a laser um, but I just wanted to trace this to the output window so anyway, my first thought was maybe I don't have the variable declared for shot timer, right? Maybe it's the fact that when we attach the laser, I've got a variable here that I haven't declared yet. I just kind of like did it willy-nilly right in the function, which, you know, in Flash you can do. Uh, it's very forgiving, right? So what I did was is I went up here and I created... Um, the I created variables in my init function for laser count equals one and shot timer equals zero, 
right? And so now I hit Control Enter, and then I click on the movie to activate the movie. I move the character around a little bit. Then I press E, where I should have my laser, and no output to the output window here, and no laser. Boy, is that frustrating, right? And all of a sudden, I realize, guess what? How about the D key? Press D, and boom. There's the output to the output window. It works. And there's the laser on the stage, D. There's the laser. It's putting coming in right where I said it would come in, right? And, you know, son of a gun, it's the wrong key. So what we need to do is go back in and say, what key is that? So go back down to this hero key down function, open up my trace, and find out which one is the E key. So control enter, grab the movie, up, down, move it around. The E key is actually 69, not 68. So now that I know that, I can go in there and fix the code for the um, correct key. So if key is down 68, we're going to change that to 69 and create the laser. And now it will trace out. It works when I hit the E key. So now I've hit the E key and I should get it works and I get the, the trace. I've got two traces and it's much better. So now I can go in and I can comment out that trace or just remove that line. And I can go back to the key code and comment that out. But I'm going to leave it because I need it because it's helpful. Okay, moving along. So right now we have that working. And you'll notice a couple things about this laser here. Just want to continue this. Control Enter. I move the character around, right? And I press the E key, and the laser gets dropped. And there's a couple of problems here, possibly. And that is, I'm going to want more than one laser. And each time I press the key, the other laser disappears. And there's going to need to be a lot of lasers, right? I want to shoot multiple lasers. So they keep disappearing, right? And the laser is also going behind the character. So how could I, how could I fix that, right? Well, a couple of things I could do to fix that. And that is, if I go down here, here's the create laser function. After we create the laser, right, and attach it to the movie, attach it to the stage, rather, I'm going to say laser count plus plus, which will increment it by one, upping it to one. So now when I hit Control Enter, Right, I move the character around, hit the E key, laser, laser, laser. So these will be multiple lasers that are going to get fired. Right? Great. All right. And then if I wanted to put the laser in front of the character, on top of the character, all I need to do is change the starting point. So I could change it to 10,000 plus laser count. And now the lasers should go in front of the character. And I don't know if you can see it, but now they're in front of the character. Right? And so that's good. All right. When we press this E key, our laser gets needs to get shot. And the E key is supposed to be for an up shot. Right? So that's going to be to shoot upwards. And of course, you can see the laser is pointing sideways. So we're going to we pr need to press this E key. We're going to need to rotate that laser 90 degrees to point it up so that it can shoot up, right? So that's one thing. Also, since I press the E key, and that tells me the direction of the laser, when I press that key, I could also tell it the direction I'm going to want it to move. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that right now. So in the code, when we press the E key, right, if key is down 69 and shot timers less than or equal to zero, create the laser. I'm going to pass it two um, arguments when we um, call the create laser function. So what I could do is I could say, well, 90 for a 90 degree turn, comma, and then I'm going to press, I'm going to put in uh, the word string, rather, up. And that's going to tell me, you know, which direction I want it to go. Right? So I can pass those to my function, n the number 90, and then a second um, argument or parameter, the, the string up. 
So now in function create laser, I need to um, deal with that. So in the function, I'll say the first parameter is going to be the rotation, rotate, and the second parameter is going to give me the direction that I want the shot to go. So that'll say, so I put in there direction, right? So here's the rest of it. So now we've got these two things that are going to get passed. So when we press the up arrow, create laser, it's going to pass the first parameter 90, which is going to give me the rotation, right? into a variable called rotate essentially and it's going to pass the direction the string up and that's going to be loaded into this direction so now I'll show you how we proceed well I'm gonna go here next line I'm gonna say my laser and I'll make it all caps my laser although equals laser plus laser count. Okay, so first of all, I make a variable called my laser and I equal it to the new name of the laser. So now I have a variable for my movie clip. I have a name for my movie clip, which is this little laser that's been attached to the stage, right? So each laser that gets fired can have this variable name, right? And now I can give it properties. So I can say, well, on the stage, it's on the root timeline, right? And this is interesting. I'm calling out root, and then I'm going to need brackets for it. Um, my laser, right? And you know what? I prefer to have this be, even though I know it's a variable, I prefer to have this one be my capital L laser. It's just better for me. So you're going to have to deal with it my capital L laser everything else is lowercase change that and um, dot underscore rotation property and I can access the rotation property of the movie clip by giving it a variable name and then talking to it on the stage rotation and I'll say plus equals rotate which is in this case going to be 90. So that will add 90 degrees rotation to my laser. And we'll see if that works. So we hit Control Enter and move the character and press E to shoot. And now when I press E, the laser is correctly oriented. All right. So back to my code here. And not only that, I'm going to make up something now too. I'll say root my laser copy control C paste dot direction equals direction okay all right and then after that's done we increment the laser and then we say one more time paste uh, root dot my laser or root my laser dot and give it an on its own on enter frame handler which will execute 30 times per second and 30 times per second we're going to call another function called move laser and that will move the laser right so now all we have to do is create another function to move the laser